This cold-blooded murder also became the focus of a political firestorm. Darlene Farah adamantly opposed a death penalty, a death sentence for Rhodes if he were to be convicted. But the then state attorney, Angela Corey, repeatedly refused to negotiate a plea bargain for a life sentence. I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner is joining us with a look at how the outcome of this case has done a 180. Lindsay? Well, Tom, the simple answer is State Attorney Melissa Nelson. By defeating Corey, she had the power to give this grieving family what they wanted all along. It's my, um, my intent in those situations to always, regardless of whether we see eye to eye, um, treat victims with dignity and respect. State Attorney Melissa Nelson wasted no time setting the record straight on why her office took this plea deal with murderer James Rhodes. We um, deal with difficult decisions every day, and honestly, this was not a difficult decision. Grieving mother Darlene Farah pushed for life in prison to save her family from years of court battles and appeals if Rhodes had been sentenced to death. She first requested that of former state attorney Angela Corey, who denied it. Corey even talked about the family publicly during her campaign for re-election, as seen here on WOKV. We give their feelings great weight, and we have done that with the very vocal Darlene Farah, who appears to be more interested in publicity than actually grieving for her daughter. Corey faced public backlash for her comments. Today, Nelson addressed the political feud head on. I was troubled that my predecessor had, that the relationship between Darlene and our office had become so strained. Um, it was important to me to make sure that even if we disagreed with Darlene, that she and her children felt that the office was respecting them and listening to them. The feature of the death penalty in Florida does remain unclear tonight. Last year, a battle between the legislature and the Supreme Court unfolded. Lawmakers tried to pass a law saying only 10 of 12 jurors needed to agree to impose the death penalty. But the Supreme Court found that law unconstitutional, saying the decision must be unanimous.